Nevada is known for being the home of Las Vegas, the center of America's gambling industry. But some farmers here are hoping to strike it rich by growing an ancient African grain. More farmers are moving to capitalize on growing demand for gluten-free foods by planting teff, a cereal grass native to the Horn of Africa. I start uh, doing this uh, almost uh, 40 years now. Teshfa Dirar grew up helping his parents raise teff in what is now Eritrea. When he came to the United States for university, he missed the staple spongy injera bread that is made from teff. I brought uh, about uh, 20 pounds or 10 kilo of teff uh, seed from uh, Eritrea. And then I planted it in Minnesota, University of Minnesota, where, where I was studying. That time I gave it to different colleges to make a research. Now his Salem Foods markets the iron-rich grain online with recipes for injera and a history of teff, one of the oldest domesticated plants. Down the road at Desert Oasis Teff and Grain, John Kitto and his son Miles say they're selling teff by truckloads to wholesale customers in California and in one pound bags to local consumers. Nevada, Idaho, Arizona, Southern California, those are all places where teff's grown at. Um, just because I think it mimics the natural climate of Ethiopia, you know, high altitude, high temperature, which teff likes. At the University of Nevada, Reno, researchers are studying this drought-tolerant grain as a way to help adapt to climate change. As the, the western United States is getting drier and drier due to global climate change, uh, we felt that it important to make an investment in some alternative crops. Bob Dexter used to grow wheat, barley and alfalfa for horse feed, but has added teff to the land he farms along the Carson River. The horses love the teff hay. Uh, it generally has a sweet flavor for them. And it's particularly good for horses as opposed to alfalfa because it's low in the carbohydrates that will cause horses to have health issues. Professor Cushman says teff's versatility adds value for Nevada farmers. Teff uh, not only provides a high quality forage, uh, for uh, livestock production, but it gives us uh, this very highly nutritious, mineral-rich uh, and gluten-free grain uh, as an added benefit and uh, for human consumption. Watching the market for TEF expand from the East African diaspora to health-conscious consumers, Tesfa Dirar says the high-fiber superfood has global appeal. TEF could be used for making cookie, for making a pancake, porridge, even the teff itself, the seed, you can boil it and make it a hot breakfast cereal. And you can make it for pizza. Now we are working with, uh, with Pizza Hut to provide them gluten-free uh, teff, so you can make it for pizza. With great demand for the grain, Dirayer is expanding teff cultivation in the states of Kansas, Minnesota, and Texas. For Tewilde Tesfa Gabir in Winnemucca, Nevada, Vincent McCory, VON News.